If I get no white bait in the next five minutes, I'm going to give it up for the rest of the season. Wow. Nice Here's Adrian. Good, Adrian. I'm back. There he is. I'm back. Oh, where's my bread gone? White bait fritter sandwich. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Good morning everybody, good morning. Rubber Avenue Kai has just gone past six o'clock and we're heading to the river. First day of white baiting today. We're pretty excited. Right, so here we are. Down by the river and it's really nice an hour before high tide so high tide's a bit too early so if have only got like a short window of white baiting today I packed my pack last night super excited about today I think I've been awake since about three o'clock thinking about today who else out there was like me couldn't sleep last night Day. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Hello. Oh, you guys can't see it. I'm going to move my net back a bit. Oh, they're going in my net. There they go, still going in my net. Actually, a nice shot. Still going in, still going in. First shot of the season. All going in nice, ne nearly there. Nearly there. And then let's have a lift. You guys can see this. Alright, you guys are ready. First show of 2023. Start the season off. Here we have it, first show 2023. Nice white bait. Yeah, boy. Nice. So here comes the sun, just popping up now. Seven o'clock, the sun's up, brother. All right. Yes, it's a very quiet day today. So I might have a coffee. <clears throat> That might bring the white bait on. So 
So here we have the APG gas stove with the gas cylinder stand, the frying pan adapter. So a lot of these camping stoves don't have these. You gotta buy these as extra. Uh, so this is a good one because it can fit in the bigger gas bottle, 227 gram gas bottle. It fits in very well in this 1.4 litre container. And we shall make a coffee. I think we'll do it right here because there's no white bait, so I might as well put our coffee over here. There we go. Right. Come on, you bloody white bait. So I've seen one shoal. Haven't seen stragglers or little bits and pieces here and there. Just one shoal, that's it. how it goes there we go a little bit of coffee there Kmart spoon and the Kmart cup there you go I think tomorrow I'm going to, have to bring my gloves my freaking hands are freezing especially on that aluminium pole Cheers everybody and I hope you're having a great day out there today. Mm. Nice in the sun. So hopefully this outgoing tide might bring some white bread on. Mm. We're gonna have a over there, see? Alright. She wants me to throw some sticks for her. Come on, white bait. Come on, white bait, or I'm gonna give up. I won't do any more white baiting the rest of the season. If I see no white bait today, I'm gonna to give it up. Stuff it, I'm not gonna do this anymore. You're not gonna to torment me with your I'm not coming over my marker buzz. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back. Well, we're gonna shoot off home soon. I've only got one shoal the whole day. It's nine o'clock now, nine o'clock. So, time's been going out for an hour and a half. I got my show at seven o'clock and I haven't seen anything for the last two hours. It's nothing at all. My neighbor in front reckons he's got about 50. He's going fishing now, he's buggered off. So I've seen nothing at all, apart from the show this morning. I saw a little one go past earlier on, about half an hour ago. And that's been about it, so this might be the end of the vlog. I'll show you guys, it's all I've got today. One shoal, probably enough for a fritter. If that. There we go. I thought I'd show you where we got the puha from last night, here at this puha mound. For the last two years we've got puha off this mound here. But this year there is nothing on there at all. If you remember from my previous white bait videos and a couple of boil up videos, we had a really we had some really tasty puha boil ups from this mound here. But I think the last big floods we had here, which covered the top of this mound, would have wiped away all the puha 
plants and puha seeds so there's no puha this winter unfortunately right so there you go this is our catch for today there we go day one of white bait season what we've got here is some delicious mussels here some kutai from Mr. Vingling. Kia ora, Mr. Vingling, for the kutai. Thank you very much. And they are very sweet. And they're actually quite fat as well. A couple last night for a bit of a taste test. And they were quite creamy, some of them. Very, very nice and very salty. The old fucker core here, mussels. These ones here. So kia ora, Mr. Vingling. I'm going to take some around to my dad now for Father's Day. He likes the old kutai, so I'll take him around a, some little bit of a taste test for him. So these are my white bait I got the other day. One egg, white bait, salt and pepper, add it to the pan. Good morning everybody, yep, this is day two of, part two of day two of white baiting. I came to opening day and I haven't been back since, but today is a lot better tides for white baiting for around here. We've got two hours incoming tide at the moment, high tide is just before 10 o'clock, so it's a lot better for white baiting today. We're expecting a nice day today, but tomorrow there's some rain coming apparently. So depending on how it goes, we might be white baiting in the rain tomorrow. If we come tomorrow, it depends on what today's like. If today's going to be a good white bait day, well we might come back tomorrow. But after our one show day on opening day, I don't think it was worth coming until the tides got a bit better so we've got yeah two hours incoming tide so it's a lot better the water's nice and clear it's a calm day today a bit cloudy but it's supposed to clear to a sunny day and there's the moon up there and here we are so I'm going to set my net up and then we'll get back to you guys and we throw our net into the water. So welcome back to another white bait video. Vlog number two. Rubber myself and hopefully we'll catch a lot more than we caught the other day. Whee! Right, so here we go. First drop of the day. This is our third season with the net, our set net as well. That Lisa Snell bought me three years ago now. Lisa, can't believe it. Time flies. And I've still got it. And hopefully we'll catch some more white bait for you this year as well. So, good to you, Lisa Snell over there in Australia. Hope you're well. And Chris, good to Chris, Lisa's son as well. Tēnā kōrua. Right, first chop off the net, and then we'll put the marker in.
and that is a perfect that's a perfect spot for the marker to set up there there's no current Fish hole going in, hopefully. They came on a bit of an angle, but do they go in? Let's have a look. <clears throat> yep, we got those ones. We got them. There we go, down the bottom there. There's our first, our first shoal. They went straight into the net. Nice little shoal of weight bait. Yay! We're on the board. Okay, there's soul of the day. Can I see that all right? Bit hard to, bit hard to film it and, and stuff. But we'll show you. Our first shoal there. Oh, look at Doves. Oh, we see that. There's our first little shoal. There we go. Here we go. Shoal number one. Nice. Not bad white bait. Yeah, boy. Yep, they're going on those ones. Oh, good shoal. I think I took that out. Got that funny angle again. Good show. Look at that. It's a good little show. Wow. Here we go. Show number two. Are you ready? It was like two seconds after the last show. Look. Also going into the nets without going around the net. Choice. Shoal going in right now. Right. Come on, the camera on. Go halfway into the net, into the into the net. There we go. Yeah. Might be a good day today. Put my net down, the shoal came over, scattered them. There's no one here, bro. 
Here we go, my friends. Check that out. That's nice. Four shoals. Yeah, boy. What? Somebody there. Shoal going in. Man, they're just going in so easy today. Yeah. Heading to the telly. Maybe five minutes we get a little shoal like that. Right, welcome back. It's been quiet for the last probably half an hour. I've seen nothing come over at all. Still incoming tide and I've seen nothing. Just died off. Eight o'clock, five past eight, so still got another two hours incoming tide yet. I just read a text from Adrian saying that he was white baiting a bit further up here, a bit with his grandson Connor. Kyoda Kona Oruru and he reckons he got two and a half kilo, not sure when, might have been yesterday. And he's uh busy for a couple of days and then he's gonna come back here I think he was saying just now. Read his message. I've seen it anyway, I haven't read anything since but hey that's not too bad is it? That's not too bad for today. Still got two hours incoming tide, maybe our outgoing tide. Depending on what the white bait want to do. If they want to hang around for the outgoing tide, I'll hang around with them. But there's our day today. What was that? Oh, you guys are shoal going in now, are they? Oh, they're going in, yeah. Oh, you guys can't see that. I thought they might have gone over the net, but they've gone into the net. Yeah, oh, that's good timing. Get the camera on. Let's have a look. Yeah, and here we go. Another shawl, but the same size, these shawls. I think nothing too huge, but. That's alright. Let's go on here. Oh. I'm happy with that. First shawl in ages. Where's Where's your net? Oh, there he is. Morning. Morning, mate. Well, they were earlier on. We sold the. Look at that. Wow. Is it right, eh? They're running the right. Two and a half kilo, eh? Yeah. Oh, that nice yeah, shot. Wow. With set net. Nah, scooping. No scooping. Whoa, I've lost a few. Jump the other. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. Is he here today? Uh, he's cool. Later. He drives his old man's truck there. Oh, did he? <laughs> oh man, just missed a nice shoal there. They're clear as. I missed them all. Bugger. That's a big shoal. Oh, oh. Here's Adrian. Good, Adrian. I'm back. There he is. I'm back. Here's Adrian up there. A bit warm and we'll be at the old beach again with the braid, eh, boy? Oh, you, you, you're fishing again? No, uh, well, not yet. yet. Um, still a bit cold for the batteries. There goes the cuz Adrian. Well, it's good having a catch up with him. And he's going to be coming down here about Friday, apparently, for a white bait. Hey, rubber. So, good to catch up with him. 
we just uh, went down to check out a spot down here that he's um, going to be using just around the corner a bit. But anyway, we've only got that one big shoal and I haven't seen anything over my markers since. And this is what we're up to now, look. Here's the water. And I think we've got a sort of timers. So high, high tide's at 10 o'clock today. Um, it's half past nine, so 10 to 10 is high tide. Adrian told me that his grandson of him got two and a half kilos. He was blind scoop. Oh, no, it's not blind. He was scooping. He got two and a half kilos, and then uh, once the high tide came, choop, everything stopped. No white bait at all. And my neighbour up here was saying the same thing. Up to high tide, and then stopped. It's funny, you got a, some nice shoals and then it just, just died off. So I think I'm going to come here tomorrow. Oh, there's a shoal now going in, a little shoal. Just going in, I'll grab those out. Sweet here, sweet here. Only about five, so I'm gonna put the net back in the water. Oh, there goes a shoal going in right now. It's a nice shoal going in. There you go. I think it's a good shoal. Let's have a look. In of it, I think. So we go in. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's a nice little shoal, right? See? Look. You want to swim? I'll take this off. Come here, come here, come here. Give you a swim. There's a stick. I think that might be it, my friends, with the white baiting. Rubber, yeah, ready? Hey. Good girl, go get it. Yeah, bro. Having her wash, wash for the week. She's starting to get a bit stink, so best thing for her is to have a, have a swim in the water. So cheers everybody, cheers and welcome back to another video. Mm. Oh yeah, nice. Cheers everybody. And I hope you're enjoying these nice relaxing white bait videos. Mm. It's pretty handy bringing the gas stove down to the river. Make yourself a coffee, make yourself some soup, a cup of soup. Mm. Normally in the first hour, outgoing tide, you know me still catching white bait, but very quiet. So 
So I got most of my shoals in the first probably hour, hour and a half. Mm. Which would be probably mid tide, mid incoming tide. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Right, girl. How's the water? Nice. He likes swimming, eh, bro? Okay, bro. Come on, white bait, hurry up. So I can go home and do some stuff. Hey, what are you up to? Hello? Oh, yucks, 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 rubber. That's how we do it down the river, rubber and I. Your team, your teamwork. Come that rubber. I'm just. Welcome back. That's it. We finished. We've had no shoals for the last probably hour and a bit. I've just been down there talking to my neighbour down there, looking at his catch he got for today. And we're going to go home. There's nothing much happening at all on the outgoing tide. Bye. End of our white bait season. I mean, not end of white bait season, you dumbass. End of our day rubber. Come over here and see that. Right. We're going to go home now and um, we're going to relax. I'll clean this white bait up and then we're going to weigh it, see what we got, and then we're going to. What's going to happen today? And we're going to like. Um, I think she wants another. Do you want another swim? Do you? I think she wants another swim. Everyone, look. Rubber, can we, uh, another swim. Okay. <coughs> yucks, rubber, yucks, ah, yucks, yucks, yucks. Okay, wait. Yeah, bro. Okay, we'll give it a quick swim and I'm going to. Pack up the old markers. What a beautiful day today. Right, welcome back. I actually uh, just been over to my neighbor's house. He lives across the road here, so we packed up together and then I uh, walked through his property to get to our place. Don't have to hear the annoying dog barking. I must be better take this down tomorrow to the river. I used my neighbor's one, it was pretty handy. So, uh, yeah, this guy's going to lose half of their stock bank. Regional council's going to take it over. They're going to lose half of their, like, yeah, quite a bit of land anyway. They're going to lose it all, unfortunately. So, let's check out a catch today. Here we go. Check out that. It's not too bad. Better than the first day out weight baiting. And uh, we shall feed them up and we shall weigh them up for you guys. And it's going to be our tea tonight. Hopefully, I'm going to do it for lunch today. So I'm going to do a vlog, a video for lunch for you guys. Okay, just for you. Happy with that after the old bad opening day. So neighbor across the road, he said he got 700 grams yesterday. So it must have been running a bit. Adrian got two and a half kilo. Right, a few sticks in here. But that's pretty good bait. Nice and clean. Right, we'll zero it up. Got some new scales here. Zero it up. I'll just clean out this. So far we've got 200, 291 grams. That's not too bad. 
So it's over 300 grams today. Oh, that's all right. Happy with that. For day two of white bait season. Right, let's have a look. Here we go, 334 grams we got today. I didn't manage to cook up white bait fritters from a catch. I was going to have a tea the other night, but I cooked up and said some pasta. So, to finish off this video, I'm going to cook up white bait fritters for lunch. Get the white bait out of the fridge. Got a white bait here from yesterday, and I'm gonna take half of this. I'm gonna add a couple of eggs with it. We're gonna have white bait fritters for lunch. Just how I like it: white bait and eggs, salt and pepper, butter. But today is something special today. I don't eat bread very often, but today I think it's going to be a very special day. We're going to have some white bait fritters with some toast. And I like my toast cold. Here we go. And I'm going to save some white bait for Erin, she can have some later on. So I'm going to put half of that into here. Make sure that you can taste our white bait. So a bit more actually. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. That'll be enough. There we go. That's ready. about you guys but I like my toast cold I like cold toast and I like the butter to sit on there like cheese my bread gone. And there you go. There is our lunch today. White bait fritter sandwich. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? It just doesn't get any better than that, my friends. Check that out. White bait fritter for lunch. White bait out. Ooh, yum. Your white bait. Look at your eyes. Right. So there we have it. White bait fritter between two bits of bread. More toast. So it's time for a taste test. What do you guys think about that? Should I just do it like that? Is that how you do it? Oh, oh no, look. Mm. Um, right. right, we're gonna eat this.
They check that, white bait through the sandwich out. How much would you pay for that in the shop? White bait through the sandwich. Right, taste test time, you ready? Mmm. So nummy, it's so tasty. Let's do all that, might be better. Especially since I don't eat much bread, I'm enjoying this. It's so tasty. Check out that. The other half there. Mm, 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 delicious. Wow. So I'm going to finish off eating my sandwich. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it inspires you guys to get out there and give it a go. And thank you for watching. And we'll catch you all on the next video, which will be a white bait video very very soon thank you for watching i'll catch you all later you take it easy out there and we'll see you on the next video bye bye, -bye.